Republic, where we are currently involved in scouring these apartments. And I believe that Fort Locker's already opened, but I'm going to check it anyway because I'm not sure. That was right. It was already filled. Okay. Now, we are in an area that is chock full of these black volkers. Boy, do I get chock full. left remains. I believe we have a door over here that hasn't been opened yet. Let's check that out for you. We also got a little bit of a, um, a armor upgrade pack, but we'll have to go back to the hideout to get it. On it. Damn! Impossible. Electronic personal message center, though it looks uh, like it hasn't been used in some time. There's one unread message on the system. Well, it's really... Hey, Elan, how's life on Taras? I heard your brother left for Tatooine to become a miner. Did he at least leave a hi leave hyperdrive behind to keep you company? I hope you're still practicing with that blaster I gave you. Remember that I taught what I taught you, because you might need it. Taurus isn't like Alderaan, it can be dangerous. Stay away from those swoop games and keep everyone, everything locked up in that old strong box. Nobody's going to be busting into that thing. Hope to hear from you soon, Uncle Louie. Okay. Think of the sturdy construction. The lock is computerized touchpad that uses a password entry system. Because the box is an older off plan model, there is no interface for you to try and slice the system. You'll have to figure out the password if you want to get inside. Let's try to get to the password. Okay. Please enter to proper password responses to confirm identity. What is the name of your pet? Hyperdrive. Who taught you to use Fire Blaster? Uncle Louie. Where did your family originally come from? Alderaan. Identity confirmed, lock disabled, welcome you, Bond. Awesome. Thank you for having your email right there. Republic Mod Armor. What kind of armor is that? Upgradable armor. Upgradable armor. The Achani stuff is better. So let's. Okay, we're going to replace that with this because it is modded, capable of being modified. I'm here. I don't think I've ever successfully opened that before. I usually end up having it uh, uh, frag, uh, frag itself into, uh, slag itself into. Uh, oh, it's locked. On it. Done. Hello, Sylvan. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? Who are you? No, I'm the one with the blaster pointed at you. I get to ask the questions. What are you doing here? Just didn't know anyone. Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting for you here. This is your only warning. If you bother me again, you won't walk out of here alive. Okay. That's kind of a cheap way to do it. I gave you a chance to get out of here and leave me alone. But I guess you're just too stupid to take it. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. Not that dangerous, given you just gave me a 
to activate. Ow. Wow. Well. Doing it, but okay. Ow, 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 what? ow, ow. We don't have any advanced meds. Ready. There we go. One more. I'm here. Scope. One of the med packs we used is covered. Slow Karth. Karth, please get out of the way. An apartment door. And are there going to be black vultures around the corner? It doesn't appear to be. Oh, no, because there's a black vulture in here. Oh! oh. You asked for this! Oh. <laughs> in some of these med packs I've used. Okay. Now, we're gonna go take a trip to the hideout. Okay! I don't know why it doesn't just send you directly here. Okay. Workbench. Ranged, parts blaster, upgrade item, with a scope. Close, armor. Connie fiber. Yeah. She needs more defense than he does. He has tons of hit points. Do we have anything we can upgrade this with? We do not. Okay. Nothing there. Oh. Let's... Go out first. Or transit back. Don't want to transit back without... Uh, save current game. Upgraded! Okay, and now, turn back. Okay. That might be why it doesn't take you directly to the hideout, is to avoid issues with, uh, your character, uh, no longer being in party. Under city, that's right. To the apartments. Hidden back base. Uh, do we turn in? Let's turn in the uh, bounty. Terrace uh, citizen, lower terrace citizen. Here you are. Akuchi Kota, Kinomura Rakin Paja, Slimo Puitlana. Okay. 
Pera pra onde? Tunda Toras Matilia. A chuta. Onda com misto. Chioca com bolera. Quem contiba do anani bobo. É. Já te escapou. Porra, cabeça. Tchau. 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 Oh, boom, just stop me, get out of Maybe we keep cashing in bounties, they'll work harder. Okay, I'll keep it. Keep it, one, and the blah, blah. Bounties pay good money. By the way, how much XP are we talking about here? Just barely leveled up to five. We might be able to take ice now. In fact, I would say we should be able to level to take ice. I went the long way around with that. Uh... Okay, let's go into the hidden bag base. So I think the only bounty left is Bindex Star Killer, which you have to get through the arena. Talk to the guy. If they hadn't stolen our swoop engine prototype. Rundi Hadonga Kuhunga B. Wana Kumbes. Oh, tell me how many recruits they'll get. The swoop race sounds important. Kavadumpa Kapalia Monapata. Bonanakachu. Yin Kin Kun no Ba Mule Rachi Kun. Maybe blind, but you can still see the big picture. Oh, you already told us that. And meanwhile, hold it right there. Who are you, and what is your business with Gat? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Valkyrs want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra, like the Valkyrs do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar Spy. Unfortunately, I think in the long run all of this is You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brezhik and the Vulcars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? You have problems with the Sith? A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the Lower City. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Breshik, but he and his Vulcars won't listen. I need information on those Republic escape pods that crashed. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the Upper City about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has her own agenda. You can see the big picture. You just can't see the very, very big picture. Okay, I'm not looking for the I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas. And that's okay in my book. The Vulcars stripped those pots clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcars found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcars aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Still is a slave, but we'll have to do it now. Normally, the Vulcars would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. 
Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. Swoop race? What does that have to do with I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. How do I get to the swoop race? I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here, and much to lose. What are you proposing? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Becks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. How am I supposed to get inside the Volker base? Getting into the Volker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Missions explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the Undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. Oh, where can I find this? She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. Got some Sith uniforms. A simple myself. disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Okay, I'll do that, Trey. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. You said that. Now... Is there anything else I can do for you? Hmm. I want to ask you some Your questions. time would probably be better spent going after the prototype swoop engine the Vulcan stole from us. But I'll answer your questions if I can. Is there something wrong with your eyes? Uh, very tactful. Are you itching for a fight or something? How dare you? I should kill you where you stand. Calm down, Zedra. I'm not ashamed of what I've become. As you can see, I lost my eyes in a swoop racing crash. I rely on these artificial replacements to see now. But my blindness was not the worst consequence of my accident. Wait. My affliction was what eventually led to this war between my Bex and the Vulcans. You're not blind. You have replacement eyes. You're not blind. That's not blind. When I lost my sight in the swoop bike accident, everyone assumed I would step down as leader of the hidden Bex and let Brezhik my most trusted follower take over. But with my ocular implants, I can still see well enough to lead this gang. And I knew Brezhik wasn't ready to take over yet. Unfortunately, Brezhik didn't agree with me. In a rage, he left to join our arch rivals, the Black Vulcans. A lot of the younger gang members followed him. And soon, he and his followers had taken control of the Vulcan gang. Why start a gang war with the Brezhik is a proud man. My decision was a public humiliation for him. Maybe if I had stepped down, this gang war could have been avoided. Don't fool yourself, Gadden. Brezhik wants to control the lower city gangs. If you'd stepped down, he'd have led the Bex against the Vulkers. He wanted this war, one way or another. <sighs> I know you're right, Zerdra. Brezhik won't rest until I am dead and the Bex are no more. But it's hard to accept the truth of his betrayal. I want to ask you something else. Your time would... Yes, yes, better spent. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, I think that's already been answered. Um, I'll be back when I get to the I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Right. Items received. Items lost. Journal entry added. Okay, is there anything else around? 
On it. Damn! Awesome. Get it back. There's nothing over there. Anything in here? Some door to go over. Is this going to also be impossible? On it. Damn! It is also impossible. So much. Yeah. Yep, so locked man. Blah 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 blah. Alright. On it. Damn! Impossible, of course. That's it, because I just did it. Ooh, control room. On it. Damn! Empty! Not empty. Impossible! Same thing. It's not the same thing at all. Okay. So... I think we're going to go up... to talk to uh, try out ice. What is that place? Note to apartments. Okay. Upper city, hit the black hole for face. Find the wrong way. I'm gonna go to the upper city. Let's go this way. Oh, timer! Okay, see you in a moment. Going to the next video.